Okay, how about I give you my Thrive story. I have tried every diet program you can think of. I've even done Neutral System and I actually lost 13 pounds the first month and they messed up on my delivery and I ended up off of it a month and I haven't been able to lose any weight since. But I have a lot of problems sleeping. Um, I get up and go pee a lot at night, but that's not the major problem. The problem is I can't get to sleep. It takes, if if I don't take NyQuil, I will toss and turn all night long. Otherwise, and, and then even with the NyQuil, I'm, it takes about two hours for me to wind down and go to sleep. Um, in the morning, I'm not a morning person. I wake up, I'm cranky. It takes me forever to get moving. And I'm 61 years old, and I barrel race. I ride my horses. I'm a truck driver. I work by 85, 90 hours a week. Um, I don't care if I make any money on this stuff. I'm not out to make money on this stuff. This stuff has given me more energy. It's given me the vitamins that I need. And with neutral system, I was told to eat every two to three hours so that my body wouldn't kick into the uh, um, starvation mode where I would collect for fat. So, and that got me into the habit of eating while I was driving, which now it got to the point where I just couldn't stop eating. I was eating from the time I got up to eating heavy to the time I, I laid down in the bunk in the back of the truck here. Um, and since I sit all day and drive, it, I just can't, I wasn't losing any weight. I talked myself out of walking, so I couldn't walk and lose weight. And a lot of times when I get pulled overnight, I can't walk. It's too dangerous and it scares me. There's been a lot of drivers drivers that have been uh, beat up some of them have been shot at and I won't go walking in the dark but I will walk at a pickup and a delivery area if I can um, I took started on this about I think it was Monday and uh, I started on it wrong I knew that I was supposed to get up in the morning before I did anything and take the two pills but I did not know that I was supposed to wait 20 minutes take drink my shake and then I could eat breakfast if I was still hungry and do my regular meals. Well, I was supposed to put my patches on afterwards, and I did do that. But what I had been doing, I'd been get, I'd wake up a half hour early, and I would take my pills, the two pills that you're supposed to take, and I'd lay back down and start waking up, maybe watch some cartoons or something, you know, on Netflix or, or Voodoo or something. And then I would get up. Well, by the third day, I was getting to the point where I didn't have to take caffeine because every morning I would put a half a caffeine pill in my medicine because I, I have um, high cholesterol, I have high blood pressure, I have thyroid problems, I'm overweight, I'm 61 years old, and I have trouble sleeping, I have trouble going to bed at night, I have trouble getting up in the morning, I would take caffeine pills to get up in the morning and NyQuil to go to bed at night. I had no energy during the day keeping up or just to do anything enjoyable that I used to do just wore me out. Um, anyway, I started on this, like I said, Monday. And I, did, I wasn't taking it right, but I did notice that I started getting up in the morning. I didn't need my caffeine. I was waking up feeling happy and joyful, and I, was, I felt like I was getting back. Um, at night, when I get done, I would eat uh, one of the Nutrisystem meals because it was light and it was small. And I, if I laid there and watched cartoons and played with um, my solitaire or something here on the phone, uh, in about a half hour, if I, if I was hungry, I would pop some light popcorn and eat that. Otherwise, I started getting really sleepy and I would just put my phone down and I'd listen to whatever I had playing on the tablet or the computer and, and I'd, I'd go to sleep. Uh, I had no problem sleeping, and I, and a lot of time, and my the pains in my my hands have kind of eased up a little bit too, and I the pain in my hip has eased up because I have a a damaged hip. I got stepped on real bad back in 2005. Uh, my horse fell with me at the third barrel when she got up. She stepped on me. She tore all the tendons on the, my lower back and all down my my leg. This is all on my left side of my body, and body, and I've had trouble with it ever since. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm feeling more energy, and this here is October the 25th, 2017. It's Wednesday. I'm on my 30-minute break here. I got stuck pulling over here in Indianapolis because I ran out of time for when I'm required for my 30-minute break. So um, I'm going to start tomorrow morning. I'm going to set my alarm clock, get up. I'm going to get up at a certain time, take those two pills, turn my cartoons on or my TV show or whatever it is that I want to watch. <coughs> lay back down and watch that then I'm gonna get up finish getting dressed and 20 minutes later after that uh, 
those two pills I'm gonna well I'm gonna make my I'm gonna do my shake but I actually make my shake and shake it up and I put it in my refrigerator and then I'll reshake it but at least it's cold and, I, and since I don't have ice and I have a little bitty refrigerator here in the truck I can't do a whole lot um, and I do mix it with water and I found out that the vanilla tastes like vanilla es extract, like, kind of like vanilla icing with, with uh, vanilla flavoring in it. It's really, really good. And I intermix my strawberry with my vanilla, and if, if you try to scent it out and make it, it's worse, but if you get it thick, it's pretty good. Um, so I'm, I'll make it thick and small so I can actually guzzle it right after my pills for the 20 minutes after I take my pills. And then uh, I guess I get I get up and finish getting dressed. I take my dog out to go potty, and I go to the bathroom and all this kind of stuff, and get it out of the way. And if I'm hungry, then I will either eat my little bowl of cereal or one of the breakfast bars here from Nutrisystem, or some peaches. I'm usually not hungry like that in the morning anyway. Too bad. And I'll go do my pickup or delivery or whatever. And by the time I get done with that, I'm usually maybe a little bit hungry. If so, I'll eat a real good lunch, and. Uh, I don't get hungry in between the lunch and the supper. I'm fine. I used to, up here at the truck, in the driver's seat, I'd have the popcorn there sitting ready for me to grab, a bag of popcorn. I'd have my peaches, anything, sandwich, anything I could that I could snack on. It became a habit with Nutrisystem that I would, instead of eating the every two or three hours, I was just constantly eating. I just, it became a habit to sit and drive, and that I used to not do that. I used to only eat once a day, which was bad also, because I ate like a pig at night and nothing all day. <clears throat> but then it became a habit with the Nutrisystem to eat constantly and with the driving because I was constantly being rushed with my job here. I didn't have a chance to do, you know, get onto a schedule. I can't keep on a schedule. But anyway, I'm feeling better. And what I'll do is, is I will let you know here uh, either next week or, or uh, in the middle of the weekend on, on me taking the, the pills and the shake like I'm supposed to to see how it does. Um, I will post this. Um... I'm not sure where I'll post it, but you'll see it. If you're, re if you're watching this, you will see it, but I'm 165 pounds, 61 years old, and I need to lose this weight and get back into energy shape by, by this spring so my horse doesn't go off and leave me at the first barrel because she has a habit of doing that. She's pretty fast, and all summer, I, I was sick the biggest part of the, this summer because I got a hold of some bad water, and it really made me sick and weak, so I didn't get to do a whole lot of riding, and when I did ride... I couldn't stay in the saddle. I even fell off my horse twice sitting still, so it was pretty bad. But I started feeling better and getting myself back up where I'm supposed to be. And now I'm on this, and we will see. But if I can get this weight off me, my horse is not going to leave me sitting on the dirt coming out of that first barrel. Because she's one of those that doesn't leave real smooth. She's a powerhouse coming out of the barrels. And if I can't keep my balance, then I can't guide her where she needs to go. So that's my goal. Plus, my granddaughter keeps me motivated and going here for the horse shows too. Because I'm teaching my girls, my granddaughters, how to ride. And they're a handful. They, they wear me out on the weekend for the horse shows. So, see you later. I hope you guys try this because believe me, so far, even that I did start taking it wrong, um, it, I, it is, it's, my energy level has just gone sky high. I'm just happy-go-lucky. I mean, I feel like I'm not crabby anymore. I mean, I would just fly off the handle mad before I started on this. If things started going wrong throughout the day and I'd go in, I wouldn't talk to people at shipping and receiving. I'd just kind of keep a blank face you know anything I could do to not socialize but now I'm a, I'm a Gabby because I used to be a, I used to be one that used to like to talk and pull jokes and and socialize and I'm back to being me again and, and I'm happy about that I just got to get this weight off me and I'm older now and it's harder I used to be thin my whole life and now I'm not so we'll get back with you and see what happens then bye bye